Everything that happens in life, it vibrates and reflects in a studio. Dreams, memories, or the fears. It's a dealing with life. I call these paintings thinking paintings. My practice in the studio is really trying to understand myself and the world. And so, yeah, it's uh, simplifying it. And simplifying it so that I can make it more complex after. I think that I was always interested in the visual world. I started studying dance, ballet in specific, and so I've been in a theater for as long as I can remember. What's interesting to me, from the performing world to the visual world, is the fact that it's very in the moment. It's an experience and it comes and goes. With painting, it's something that stays with you and you can interact with it. It's a way for me to remember. Increasingly, I'm realizing how inevitable the movement is within my work and also how it transfers to the people looking at the paintings. I really try to zoom in and take the elements, kind of put them apart so there is space around. That way you feel like actually you can kind of walk through the painting and walk to the next layer and then beyond that. The paintings are very much going through a set of motions, so it just depends when I feel that the dance should stop. There is a reason why I started making these paintings as well, is because I arrived to the point where I couldn't really focus, so I was thinking too many things, and with these works I really enjoyed that I could separate all the elements and just focus on one area, one brush stroke, one point, mix the paint, focus on this color right now, here, and that's the only thing that I'm doing. Abstraction is an invitation for you to use your imagination, and I think in some ways we need to cultivate our imagination these days. I mean, painting is layers, and it's stages, and it's building an image in a way. Getting to the essence of why I want to make art. Every day you come here to the studio, and your job is to extract the ideas and to understand your subconscious. To get closer to a certain ideal painting, and realizing that, that never happens, so you come next day and you try it. I think that in the end, it's a process of growing. Everything that happens in life, it vibrates and reflects in a studio. It just never stops.